Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome on in for day 22. Do I normally carry a lantern with me? Am I losing it? Where did I get the lantern from? Wait. Oh, I thought it'd be cool if it colored things in as I walked. Have I always been carrying this? Why am I carrying this? Since when would... Maybe I've been carrying it this entire time and I'm just not remembering. <laughs> Can you imagine? Honestly, that is probably the case, knowing me. Oh god, what am I hitting? There we go. Anyways, welcome back. Um... You gonna eat that? You... Oh? There we go, you took a second to think about it. That's okay, though. Oh my goodness. This bug is trying to get on my nerves. Um... I hope everyone's been having a really great, uh, let's just say day, maybe week, maybe. Uh, recently, Cozy Grove celebrated its very first birthday, which was kind of cool. I don't know if it was just birthday or birthday on like the Switch, I don't know, or in general. <laughs> um, but I really, really enjoyed Cozy Grove, so I am happy to see so many other people also enjoying it. It's a really good game. I don't have food for these cuties. Okay, what were we working on? The churros, yes. <laughs> uh, we need imp essences, so we gotta help out the imps. And we are helping our gym, so that's pretty straightforward. Let's see. How's the research for the merit badge is going, camper? Show me your stash when you've got 85 of those beauties and I'll tell you another campsite or campfire tale from my scouting days. No rush, of course. Uh, one away? Holy crap, only one away. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll get that when we get it. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Arjun, how are you doing today? I've been thinking about that house in the last picture you brought me. It was a nice looking place, but what really makes a home is what's on the inside, right? I must have taken photos of our lives inside that house. I'd love to see them. Uh, it's nearby a crow's nest behind something. Okay, so I feel like this one has caught me up before. I want to say crow's nest in quotation marks is going to be, you know, somewhere along the, the water or along the beach. But I guess we'll see. Okay. Um... You know what? Yeah, let's focus on that, and then we'll come back and do everyone else's requests. Okay, so... Here we go. Okay. That was... easy. I, I will always say it, the soundtrack in this game is amazing. Every- like, if I go quiet, Honestly, either assume I'm sneezing and I've edited it out, <laughs> which is possible, uh, or I'm just kind of low-key enjoying the soundtrack. I do that during streams too and I feel kind of guilty about it. What do we have here? What a warm and lovely kitchen. It looks almost like a bakery. You know, it's funny. I've never really thought of myself as a chef. In fact, I'm having a hard time remembering a single recipe. Ugh, this memory loss is such a pain in my rear. Um, maybe you just need more time. I don't know. I guess I still feel lost. Give me some time to get my head on straight, please. Oh. Okay. Was that? Yeah, that's the one that we needed for Allison. Okay. So at least we got that going on. I think I've mentioned this before, but for anyone who's played the game Spiritfarer, um... That game is similar-ish in concept, not really, I guess, but you deal with uh, people who are moving on into the afterlife, and I felt like in that game, every time someone said, hey, could you give me some space, that meant they were gonna go soon, and I, I, it's been two, like, it, actually, it has been two years, wow, it's been two years since I finished that game on stream, and uh, I still have flashbacks. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Allison, hi. Wow, oh, a photo of my old bakery. This is from a literal lifetime ago. I was selling bread out of an old shoebox shop for years.
There we go. But my sis said it was an embarrassment and that shoes and food don't mix. Whatever, Valentina. To her credit, though, she did help me secure the loan for a renovation. Oh, you know what? That's it. Time for another renovation in recognition of my evolution as a baker. Yes, indeed. A grand reopening is just what the customer ordered. Okay, awesome. I'm really happy we got that one done. We, I think we've been sitting on that one for a little while, as, as is the case with the... Uh, ones where it's like, oh, help out someone, and eventually you'll get it. Sometimes the game can be a bit funny about actually giving you it. Okay, so I just saw an imp over there who wanted a mushroom. Um, see if we can't get ourselves one of those. I don't think we already have one. We don't, although our inventory is filling up very quickly. There we go, very nice. Oh, and another one who wants a potato. There you go. If you had come over just a little bit and then dug, you would have had exactly what you're looking for. But that's okay, because it means I get to give it to you. Oh. I think I hit a tree. <laughs> I didn't even know they could have hit trees. There we go. Was that the one that I needed? No. What did I just get? Happy investments. Okay, can I... Maybe I can craft those. I should probably look into this. Instead of just, like, blindly... Um, tossing the imps things and hoping for the best. There we go. Yeah, I just got another one of the same thing. Okay. So, maybe that is... Our problemo. Let's see. Hi, Lee. I have a mushroom over my head. Don't mind me. Yesterday, I had the darndest time finding my own front door. I got turned around between my turnip stack and my tower of old microwaves. <laughs> to get my bearings, I climbed up a pile of old pipes, nails, and screws. I barely avoided tetanus. Maybe it's time for me to do a bit of cleaning? Figuring out what to part with is usually difficult, but one choice is easy. Uh, this here... Sorry, this here rock has always felt unlucky to me. I could swear I already gave it away to that tram fellow. But bad stones like this have a way of turning up again. You seem like someone who can turn bad luck into good, so here you go. Uh... Please don't give me haunted and or cursed and or bad luck objects. Um, uh, I didn't even need it, but you know what? I'll still take it because it's from you. Also, let me... There we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. I hope that we can finish that last churro today. That one... We might be asking a bit for that, but it would be really nice. Hey there, sweetie. Just doing the rounds? Well, you're in luck. Today I've got something that'll really blow your mind. It's a personal request. Um... I'm excited to help. I know, I know. Look, it's not like I'm allergic to favors or something. I just don't want people making assumptions about what I can or can't do. I had enough of that in life. I don't need that it sorry, I don't need it in my afterlife too. But you seem alright. I'm a bit preoccupied right now, so I'd like a wetsuit. Mr. Kit should have one for sale. Do you think you could buy one and bring it to me? I'll pay you back. Not pay as in money, but you know, a spiritual reward of some sort. I like spiritual rewards, as long as they are not cursed and or bad luck and or what was the third thing I said? Haunted? Haunted. Okay. The audacity of this bird, by the way. Oh, it's not popping up now. It's asking for one of the churros. <laughs> and it's just like, absolutely not. I am not giving you that. Okay, let's buy the spirit wood for today. There we go. Um, oh, I'll buy that too. It's probably a ripoff, but I'll do it. And... Let's see, for cold water swimmers who lack a thick insulating layer of fur. Isn't she... Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask questions. Sounds great. Gimme. Thank you. Okay, back to... Uh, Octavia, right? Yes, okay. I got the name right. 
Well, how about that? A wetsuit? Lately, I've been thinking about how I'd like to go for a deep dive. Really see what's down there at the bottom of the ocean. Come visit me again later and I'll bet I'll have something interesting to show you. Thanks again, sweetie. You're not bad for a habitual do-gooder. There we go. Nice. I swear I... Maybe I was carrying the lantern before. Has this just always been a thing at night and I've just noticed this? I'm gonna go check out my old vods. <laughs> and like, or my old videos, I guess. And take a look, because I'm actually really not certain. Actually, you know what? I passed by Jeremy a couple times. How's it going, dude? Oh, what was I? <gasps> right. Heck. Okay. That's a problem for us because well, our trees aren't done yet anyway. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say we need our trees, but... Something's been bothering me, Postal Pal. The soccer ball came back to me, but the metal didn't. I could ignore it, just wait until it shows up at the worst possible time. But I'd rather take some initiative. SOP. Locate and secure the metal. I'll be on the mission whenever possible, but I need your help. If that metal shows up, you know the drill. Uh, I heard someone say it was nearby some delicious desserts. Okay, so we know where that's gonna be. Let's go see. Somewhere... In this area? I would assume. I just noticed all the cupcakes on the ground around the garbage. Uh, am I just not seeing it? Hmm. It might be one of those ones that's actually in plain sight and I'm just too busy looking behind trees to notice it, to be honest. But I'm like 99% sure. Oh, there it is. It would be up there. There we go. Okay. Feeling much better. Get this while we're here. Oh, oh, heck. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Um, You know what? Before we hand this in, let's go deal with our inventory here. Okay. Well, you know what? It's not perfect. But it's a little bit better than it was. <laughs> I I don't want to like burn things yet because I know I'm gonna have to burn things later because I haven't harvested all the rocks. My bronze star for heroic service or uh, meritori meritorious achievement. I don't think I've heard of that word. I'm not one to question the top brass, but they missed the mark when they awarded me that. You know how I got discharged? I was showing off with a soccer ball. I tried to do a bicycle kick, but I botched the landing. Shattered my wrist for nothing. Does that sound heroic to you? And I was still recovering in bed, my hand wrapped up tight when, well... Look, I just wasn't where I was supposed to be. I don't deserve a medal, I deserve punishment. So I pour my time into the service. I get things where they need to go. I deal with the occasional bubble-wrapped demonic horror, and I don't complain about it. I just wish that medal and these memories would go away. Oh, and this is why he's one of my favorites. Sweetheart. Also, weird. Like, what? Three and a half through his five hearts? Jeez. That makes me a little bit uncomfy. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I never do these. I should get in the habit of doing these. Oh, that was a good one. Nice. Um, oh, right, you're the churros, yes. Okay, so we can't do anything for you right now. Oh, that's a different kind of mushroom. Um, we do have our crops and such over here that we can harvest. Okay, that goes the last one, but still pretty good. I got it first try. <laughs> Our inventory must be really full. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. 
Um, do we have anything for you? I guess we do. Apparently I can donate something, so I'll do that right now. There you go. Nope. Yes. <laughs> and then... One of those. Magic hairball crafting recipe. Lovely. Okay, and then... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get this one first try. Uh, no, we're gonna go right in front. Heck. <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. Okay. We got it. So I'm happy. Captain, how are you doing today? I'm still there. I figured out how to begin my story. Strong opening line. Fish in line, that is. I always sent cleaner on a stomach full of rare fish. Catch us a seafood feast and I'll tell you... Tell you and Polymore a tale that could turn the tides for your fortune. Oh no! <laughs> I remember this! No! No! Okay, okay, okay. So, that quest <laughs> might be one where I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Um, I'll probably end up fishing for like an hour off camera. And then by next time we come back, I'll have that ready because I remember that one and it is not easy to finish. Also, I know that there's more rocks, but let me just go ahead and burn stuff anyway. And boop. Okay, that's two nut flour. That might actually be enough for what I need. I think it was five per. Okay, this bug needs to just stop. <laughs> okay, so we got nut flour. We got the iron. We got silver. We got some gold, which is really nice. <gasps> we have six. Okay, so I think that should that should do us. We should be set. Um, and I think we're also are we gonna get a new camper today? Dare I say? That's exciting. Um, I feel like that's new. I'll leave everything else. Um, oh, not that one. Yeah, we're gonna have a new camper. That's that's cool. Um, okay, let's go make the churro. Let's go get that done. I hope I have everything. <laughs> Please tell me I have everything. <gasps> yes. Yes, craft it! <laughs> Get rid of this gosh darn quest that has been far too long. Five minutes. That is so much better than when I first was playing this game. Okay, um, let's go hand in the spirit log. There we go. It has been a long time. My light extends further. Until now, seven lost souls remained out of our reach. Seven is usually a lucky number, but hmm. I'm afraid you won't feel lucky around this lost soul. He reeks of arrogance and greed. He acquired everything and yet nothing. I feel pity for him, Scout. Have patience with this one. Oh, is this who I think it is? Fire seems brighter you're now, Scout. Rank 11. Okay, let me go see if this is who I think it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> I didn't get too far into this guy's story in my longest switch save um, before I stopped because it was lagging. <laughs> so let, let's get to know him together. So you're the new kid in town. Building a big fire, huh? Very cool. If you ever need any tips on pro-level fire construction, real outsider or outside the pit stuff, I know a guy. I'm Clyde, by the way, and I can tell you, I can tell you call him like you see him. So you can call me Wolf Bear. Some people tell me Wolf or Bear, make up your mind. But you get it. I can tell you get it. Speaking of getting it, I could use a coffee, kid. 
Oh, swine, look by a tarp. Okay, so a broken urn, I think that's it. Do I have any rocks on me still? I don't, okay. I just saw the seashell indicator. Let's see, that was Clyde. And I wasn't really sure what to make of him when I was playing in my other save. So I'm, I'm excited to get to know him more in this one. Uh, something about a broken urn. Oh, there it is. There you go. I do not want to know what your coffee was doing in said broken urn because I feel like that'd just be really gross. Um, but you do you, <laughs> you know? You do you. There he is. Hi! Oh yeah, that's good job. Not exactly how I like it prepared. But your hustle? Good stuff. So, I'm gonna let you in on the ground floor of a new venture. We're going to need to raise some capital and make some acquisitions and track down some unaccounted for assets. I'd ask if you're in, but of course you are. We start tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah, this is him. <laughs> He's... He's something. He's something, all right. Go, go and pick up those. So I think that's everyone helped out. I really want to get... Um, that last badge that we need. Fruit salad crafting recipe. Nice. Okay, and I see two little friendos over here who are asking for the same things pretty much as before, I think. Let's see if we can't find any. There we go. And now that we've completely used up our nut flower stock, I'm really happy that we're digging up chestnuts. That's the ones. Um, it means we can replenish that. And I think those are worth two, so even better. Okay, where did this one go? There you are. I need to look into this, because like, I bought that imp essence or whatever, but I thought that these guys gave it. I guess not, though. They seem to give, like, different- maybe, maybe it's just different ones. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky, or lucky, depending on how you look at it. Oh, is this open up here? Yeah, here we go. This is the, uh, the other, um, zone, I guess you can unlock. Um, I was working on this one on my other save, but I, I did the beach one first on this one, and I'm really happy that I did. Um, I really like our little farm that we have going on down there. I'm trying to find a mushroom. No, it was potatoes, right? I'm trying to find the stuff for those imps up there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find them, unfortunately. Um, let's just harvest our trees here. Also, there has a new ladder. Okay, so we can go hand in that to... Uh... Valentina, right? Oh, and oh my goodness, I forgot about Francesca. Oh, now I feel really bad. I just wandered past her like three times. There we go. Camp churros. Done. Let's go hand this in and then we'll go see Francesca because I'm an awful person. I completely forgot about her. Oh, thank you. Wait, what is this? Is this animal food? Why is Allison baking animal food? Should have known better than to bring family into this. Should have imported some nice Alaskan salmon. Instead, I have this locally sourced garbage. It won't do. It just won't do at all. Um... You shouldn't be so hard on Allison. Hard on Allison? I support her through all her little projects. And all I get in return are goofy smiles and inventions like floor ham frittata. She just doesn't see what's at stake. Um, what's at stake? Everything, of course. Tidal wave of imps could bring this gorgeous town. My legs weren't crashing down. And if that happens, my approval ratings won't be far behind. I'm the only one holding this all together for all the little people like Allison and like you. Oh boy. <laughs> She's lovely, isn't she? <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of her. But again, 
I haven't seen that far into her story, so... Adele de Roots, what a disaster! Those uh, miscreant imps are at it again. They've stolen five of my best statues. Please, little fauna, as you know, I'm murdered to my spot. Ah, oh, near a folding chair. One of the imps has it. Oh, yay, I can do these. Okay, that one right there. Hi. Okay, uh, near a folding... Oh. Different folding chair? Different folding chair. Okay. Oh, God. There we go, that one. Do you guys have a favorite imp? Have I asked that before? I'm not even sure. I like the little blue ones. Uh, near a folding... Are they all just in this area? Or is it just the sheer amount of folding chairs? Um, okay, no, it's not gonna be you two, it'll probably be you. Come here. Uh, near a broken rowboat, some of the imps has it. Okay, so that's gonna be down by the beach. Oh my god. Dear lord. <laughs> I keep getting stuck in things today. Okay, Mr. Kit, I will come back and see you later, sir. I have unfinished business with you. Mainly, I want to check out the clothing, but you know. And I heard it was close by a dead tree with a bird's nest. One of the imps has it. Okay, that could be almost anywhere. Um, but let's pick up this. And... No? Huh. Um. Usually I get these right away. There's a plant in the way, so it makes it kind of obnoxious. Weird. You know what? I will come back for you. I usually get those right away. And I was gonna say, I go on the Cozy Grove subreddit, and sometimes people post about not being able to, like, find the spot, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, it's really obvious. But, like, now I feel dumb, because now I'm the one not seeing it. Um. So, maybe it's just... You know, if you're looking at it yourself, you can't see it. There we go. Um, but if someone else looks at it, it's really obvious. Someone in chat, bro, or down below in the comments, you guys probably saw that. And know exactly where it's meant to go. Um, okay. Francesca, I got your statue. Heck, there's the last rock. <laughs> I got your statues. You found them! And they're almost untouched aside from the few fire-shaped squigglies painted on the side. Wait, what's this one wooden statue you found? Little Fauna, it seems one of these carvings isn't mine. How strange, is there another sculptor in these woods? Oh, I thought that was gonna be a quest item. I guess not. Okay, her area always gives off so many coins. There we go. Okay. I don't think I got them all, but that's fine. Mr. Kit, hi. Okay, um, I didn't really take a look at what you had. I am gonna buy some of this, though. I really want the backpack upgrade, but we'll- we'll save and get that later. That's cute. Stone Barrows the Third. <laughs> oh man, some of the items are just adorable. Some new flowers and stuff. Um, how about clothes? Bandana, sweater, bandana, <laughs> surfer glasses. Those are actually adorable. Ram horns, basic hoodie, sweater vest, cottage dress, tie blouse. I, you know what? In my other save file, I've been mentioning it a lot recently, haven't I? In my other save file, um, I felt like I had no trouble um, finding clothing and stuff that I liked, but in this one, for whatever reason, just not finding anything. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, there's your logs. Let's just give him all the ones we have. Okay, how many more do we got? We got two more. Okay, so that leaves us with 20 more to find. That's actually not too bad. Um, common witch ornament? Oh, that's kind of cute. I probably won't keep it there, but I'm going to have it out of my inventory at least. And a biology lab table? Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. I'll accept that. <laughs> uh, let's put some stuff away here. There we go. Okay. So, we didn't we didn't get our 85th badge, unfortunately, but I'm sure I will very, very soon. Um, if not right now, because I'm about to go fishing, actually, for uh, Captain's six rare or legendary fish. Dear Lord, help me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>